coming at you. Obviously, Light, one of the one of the premier players, slated to make a really good showing here in the PGR coming up in a couple of, uh, in the next week or so, um, I believe. So and also we got Ralphie. Uh, we got a stage. Uh, is this this, this right. button check or is this real? No, this looks like it's definitely real. Here we go. All right, we actually have a uh, a Wii Fit trainer yeah. from Stocktaker. I haven't seen. I actually haven't seen who he's been playing lately, but we'll see how this Wii Fit trainer player does work out. Definitely a character that I can see working pretty well in doubles. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, Light and Don have. They're like such an amazing team. Don as a player is he's. Solid in singles, but like when you—he's just such a good teams player, absolutely, you know. Absolutely. Like Light will opt to team with Dom because their chemistry is just so good, yeah. I and mean, it's already carried them to winners' quarters. And I'm—I would would be surprised if it carries them beyond that. Absolutely, and that's the thing that's uniquely as as uh, was that? Yeah, okay. All right, was that that was not uh, that was Ralphie taking that? Yeah, yeah, Ralphie yeah. lost that first. Yeah, shot. I was like, I was like, uh, I couldn't. I, I, is that he's he's using a new tag on on his. Uh, Thing. But yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's really unique uh, to Smash and to Devil specifically is that you'll actually sometimes actively want to team with somebody who may might be weaker mechanically, not saying that he is, but in some situations, even be kind of sacrificing that for synergy. If you know how somebody plays, it's much easier, even if they have a different style than you yeah. or if they're not playing a mechanical character. Uh, it's just something that, you know, Doubles has unique in this game. Yeah, and I really like study what they're doing and just the way that they move around each other is so perfect. But right now they're doing pretty well. They yeah. essentially have a stock lead, 113% on Ralphie, and that's his second stock right there. Absolutely. But this, honestly, like Red Team has a lot of explosive power behind them. We fit, especially in a double setting when the opponent might not be watching with deep breathing in effect. Look at that, just yeah. makes people explode. Yeah, one stock lead here for the Green Team. And Ralphie's kind of taking the brunt of the damage here. He's already on his last stock. And what's one of the things that we fit? We fit has actually very weird, awkward, and elusive hitboxes on a lot of her moves. So it's really weird to hit her, even in a double setting, because a lot of her moves put her at an angle where it's like you're barely hitting and barely whiffing a lot of the time. And you have access to these great projectiles, especially that soccer ball that's going to be able to basically make any get up of the ledge essentially yeah. free. At the same time, for doubles, it can be a little bit awkward for Wii Fit just because their hitboxes are kind of awkward, yeah. meaning that there might be a situation. It's an awkward character. Yeah. <laughs> it's an awkward character. <laughs> it's an awkward and, character. But, like, so the thing is that the character, um, there might be a situation where it's like, oh, this will be prime. My opponent has set me up. Or, like, you know, my partner set me up, but wasn't able to get the kill just because he was in, a, like, a position that Wii Fit doesn't have the greatest way of actually punishing. But it actually snuck up. I that one stock lead after that down air, and it's not going to be the same. beautiful save coming in from Dom using the up B, knowing and that those multi hit was going to give him just enough aerial time to get back up to the ledge. But a one stock lead here for the red team already has crept up on Light and Dom, and unfortunately, wow. Light will be the first one to fall. And this is especially dangerous. Dom. He's a solid player, but definitely, like, Light is the player that you want to be have left in that 2v1 situation. And right now he's uh, getting battered back and forth. If oh, anything, yeah. this will be a showcase to see how well Red Team Synergy can be. And right there, just cleans it up clean and quick. And, and Weaver Trainer is such an amazing doubles character, in my opinion, because that character, out of a lot of throws, most of the characters you consider top tier and the high tier have at least one to two throws that are really good in doubles because their base knockback and their knockback or their knockback growth is very low. So you always know the angle. And that you're, you're just seeing that right there, Ralphie using the down throw straight into the up smash from Wii Fit. Good stuff. Especially with the deep breathing. That's damage. Yeah. That's but damage. I, the thing is also, I feel like there was that big pivotal turnaround moment, the down air spike that yep. Ralphie got. Uh, it felt like overall, maybe it, by the end, you know, red team picked up, but it felt like green team was just like a little bit more well-oiled in terms of how they were going about okay. things. They had this like consistent good play. Okay. But that one big play from Ralphie sort of knocked them off their footing, and they managed to capitalize on that beautifully, ending the game, and I think that was a three stock. Okay. That yeah. was pretty convincing. Absolutely. Getting the music counter pick here, always important. Oh, yeah, especially if you have headphones and listening to yeah. music elsewhere. Yeah, you got to get that music counterpick. But I wonder what the actual counterpick for stage. I didn't actually see what stage they ended up picking. Um, uh, but let's see, for Fox, 
For Fox and, you see, the for Fox and Mario, it's going to be maybe a ba really if Battlefield yeah, or a Triplat wasn't banned, I could see that, especially because they're like good team synergy, which means that they're able to operate in close quarters okay. a little better. That's fine. You can run it back right. too. You can yeah, run it no, back too. Yeah. I think the synergy is fine. Um, Pokemon Stadium Two. I honestly, I always think it benefits characters with good back airs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people say it's the the new, just the neutral start, but characters like Wolf, characters like Fox, characters like Mario are able to just drop off that platform and back air pretty safely. Well, so, considering uh, how also the fact that how like the stage is actually kind of wide, so it allows Wii Fit Trainer to basically run to the side of the stage and charge deep breathing, charge sun salutation like you see it there, throw some soccer balls. That space allows allows. Um, stock taker here to really dictate what he wants to do and set up before he goes into these wild exchanges. Keep in mind, though, if he's taking time to set up what he wants to do, he's leaving Ralphie Absolutely. out to the wolves. Absolutely. Uh, the foxes in this case. Uh, but, oh, wow. Oh, my God. All trades all around. I'd say that <laughs> there he yep. goes as well. Light is the only one left with three stocks. Uh, and at 78%, I'd say he's pretty comfortable. Green team once again starts off the game with a lead. But last time around, once like red team managed to get that uh, that comeback. And let's see if they're able to do that once more. Or whether green team has maybe gotten their stuff together a little bit more and are able to just hold this lead fast. Yeah, the two dominant strategies, there there are two pretty I dominant strategies and that was pretty sick. Um, in doubles. You either go for the double one V one or you go for the for the uh, you know what we call the pass and play. So you uh, you isolate one player and then gang up on him so you really play for stage control here. That he just charged for eight years. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. But it, it and so we're seeing a little bit of both here. It really leaning towards the double 1v1, which is usually if you believe that you are just better individual players on the opponent's team, that's usually what you're going to want to try to go for. Yeah, I will also just, I really just want to highlight how good the movement is with a uh, green team. When both yeah. of them are just operating, I have not seen them got hit by a uh, Wii Fit soccer ball like once. Mm -hmm. Their oh, ability oh, to just oh. always ad like adjust themselves in that case has just been fantastic. To the point where we fit maybe I don't know, she hasn't felt that impactful in this game. Oh, right oh, as I say yep. that. You gotta hit that spike. And that's one of the things like we were saying about we fit is such an awkward character, character that puts you in dangerous situations. It, uh, at times where like most characters don't put you in a dangerous situation like that. So being able to basically even the game there was stock taker. But 84% here on Ralphie is the senior in terms of percent. Going to isolate here in between rock and a hard place. But there is Ralphie trying to get back to the stage, and he does. Light at the end of the tunnel. Red team definitely still has a potential to make this back. If you can see. Oh, and that was huge, though. Yeah, the, the turnaround from what we saw last time. Stock Taker, though, what an extremely proficient player. Um, if he's able to take out Dom, uh, okay, neat. Um, if he's able to take out Dom here, he might have a shot at still winning this. Yeah. But pass, pass the ball, yep. Pass, pass yeah. the ball. Oh, give the ball to Kobe. You always <laughs> pass the ball to LeBron at all times. So you're gonna, you're gonna see, because he's at actually at a lower percent, you're gonna see this pass and play kind of thing that I was talking about. Pass the ball to Kobe, okay? Always. Oh. Kobe, LeBron, take your pick. It doesn't matter. You give the ball to Michael, okay? <laughs> Why would you not? <laughs> okay, yep, playing for stage control here. Getting this 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 beautiful setup here. Very classic standard team fundamental stuff right there. Just one behind the other. However, I will say, we've been trainer, as we've seen from players like John Numbers, very comfortable just being at the ledge. Yeah. Uh, meaning that they may be, th what normally is the worst situation to be in in a 2v1, like he's... Uh, yeah. Opting to put himself there willingly. Yeah, the soccer ball is so huge at the ledge here. Basically oh. gives you a free entry off the ledge, and they have to either shield or, you know, they, they can spot dodge it kind ah, of. And, yep, yeah, there it is. Yeah, uh, flash kick. And okay. I actually, we the trainer seems really good for those 2v1 situations yeah. as the one, just because normally what is so scary, so threatening is the grab. Absolutely. If you get grabbed, you're just done. And if you're, and the, normally it's hard kick. to play around, <laughs> nice. Normally it's hard to play around grab because 
you don't want to put yourself on the ledge because then you have to mm -hmm. deal with two people ledge trapping you. Yep. But we fit. It felt like Stock Taker was pretty comfortable being at the ledge. So yeah, I mean, we fit trainer at the ledge is I would argue one of the strongest characters in the entire game of playing at the ledge. You have oh, yeah. access to so many things that you would that a lot of characters just don't have. A lot of characters just basically have one option. Oh, I got I got to get off this ledge. That's and and how you do that is up to a myriad of factors. If you're a Wii Fit Trainer, you have four options. You get off the ledge, charge sun salutation, deep breathing, or throw a soccer ball. And all of those options are incredibly good offensively and defensively to help you get get to the real objective, which is getting your behind off this ledge, okay? I mean, also, that, let's not forget, one of the real objectives is your opponent overextends, then you knock them off the right, side. Obviously, like, right, obviously. It's... It's, it's, maybe, it's maybe a little bit less prone to happening yeah. uh, in a like in a two v one because if you're two people you're just more comfortable because of numbers. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like when you're one, you and a wee fit trainer, you mm -hmm. can get really antsy. But if you have your friend backing you up and you know your friend's up there behind you, you might not want to like just Absolutely. go ham and. Absolutely. But the soccer pranked. the soccer ball is just so much pressure. I cannot overstate and how much pressure the soccer that ball is. That soccer ball ended up doing so much right. damage that game. Green team did a really good job of avoiding it for the first part. Yeah. Uh, but then near the end it was the that yeah, were absolutely. really, uh, it, and it's a little chip damage here and there, but it's also disruption. And we're gonna see a little bit of change of scenery here. We're heading over to town and city. So off the of Pokemon Stadium 2 is the counter pick <laughs> for Ralphie and Stocktaker taking game one, I mean, basically snatching highway robbery on game number one, uh, being able to offer solid play and sending over Ooh. to game number three. That was damage! That was huge amounts of damage onto Ralphie. Oh, one thing that it seems that red team this time around is focusing much more on stage control. Uh, yeah, as you can see, once again, putting both of them, trying to keep them both on the one side. A bit of friendly fire there maybe doesn't kill Stockticker outright, but look at this. It's now separated into two 1v1s with yeah. both of red team in bad positions, and they are now... Ha they have both in the red. Ralphie is on death's door, Ooh. and that up smash, great job catching him. This is now... a. Six to five lead. Absolutely. And it's not, ooh, beautiful back here out of the shield. Good stuff. But, and that's kind of, ooh, on the left side goes Don, or excuse me, goes light here. So it is two to five, uh, two stocks on each side of the green team. But, you know, when it goes to that 1v1 scenario, that's actually neutral in a way, right? It's, it's actually, oh my god, the flash kick kills off the top. We have an even game here in terms of stocks. And pretty much in terms of percent as well. Four, two stocks at piece for each player here. And it, Red team seems less comfortable than they were at the start of this, but I feel like they're starting to remember what was working out for them at the beginning. Trying to, uh, the, the way that they're positioning themselves seems very segmented, you know? That it's always yeah. going to have, you know, the, both the two of them in between them, or it's staggered. Uh, but this is something that Don has been doing a really good job with, just getting that one hit and doing tons of damage. Because they've been separating oh them more, God, they the haven't been there to support their teammate once they get hit. You see that chase on the up smash, that was sick by light. Rogue Zone, put it in work, putting these sapatos to good use. I'm about it. Okay, 100, 100 plus percent. Oh my god! <gasps> Look at this damage Yo. that light is dishing out. Oh, 40 percent. This vanilla chic. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. It, deep breathing was worth it. That was a little scary though. Yeah, good punish right there on the grab. Very standard stuff. White knowing he was going to pay the tax for that. Oh, my gosh. All right, so that's not going to be quite it on the side of Dom. Dom still have, having the most sucks here for the two. Great DI going to be able to avoid that on the second up air coming in from the red team, but he will land. Is Dom doing a fantastic job stock taking, and I want to remind yeah. you, this is game three. We have one stock apiece for everybody, but both of red team deeply in the red. Ralphie especially, uh, one up smash from Fox, he's absolutely gone, and up air positionally can also yeah, I'm do about it. To, I'm literally about to say, look for the grab, because you're going to want to see that grab. We call that the Goku Piccolo, you know what I'm saying? Hold him down while I do some damage, okay? Here it is, watch this. Damn! You see, yeah, off Ooh. the platform, I was like, that platform, that, that is, sometimes it's a structure, because it saves lives, but in that situation, it was a hearse. It literally took you to death. That's going to be it. Light, that was No, he was in the hearse, and then Dom just rips open the yeah. car door and throws the casket onto the Beautiful street. Beautiful stuff. Look at this hit confirm. Oh, Zapatos off the right side, back air. Good stuff. <laughs> Dropkick like it's New Japan. I'm about it.